Now at 530, Brightline is at risk tonight of missing a critical deadline. It promised to install life-saving technology as it begins service to Miami. And just hours after CBS 12 News exposed Brightline, a congressman is now calling for immediate action. CBS 12's Michael Butcher investigates joining us live in West Palm Beach tonight with Congressman Matt Brian Mass comments. Michael? Yeah, listen, John, we're live here in downtown West Palm Beach, right next to the Brightline station here. As you said, we spoke with Congressman Mass today while he was in his office in Washington, D.C. He told us he's concerned about Brightline, positive train control, and when this will be installed and implemented aboard these trains. And in my opinion, they shouldn't be allowed to function without this in place. Congressman Brian Mast had some tough words for Florida East Coast Railway's high speed train Brightline and its risk of failing to meet a deadline for the installation of positive train control, also known as PTC. The congressman spoke to us via Skype from his desk in our nation's capital. Brightline and FTC said that they were going to have this in place before that passenger rail began, and that clearly hasn't been the case. The comments come after the Federal Railroad Administration sent this letter to the company, expressing concern that it will not be able to meet the deadline to install PTC by the end of the year, as mandated by Congress. They are so far behind that they probably do not even qualify for, for asking for an extension. CBS 12 News Investigates has been asking questions about PTC for years. Once implemented and installed, the technology can detect if a train is going too fast or being operated unsafely. Onboard computers can kick in to slow it or even stop it and avoid collisions with other trains. The most recent federal records show PTC is not installed on a single FEC locomotive. I don't think that, that we should be operating the freight rail in conjunction with the passenger rail uh, next to one another uh, without that PTC in place, uh, which is something that they promised to have in place uh, by early 2018. You know, we can tell you tonight, a spokesperson for Brightline says the railroad is installing PTC and currently uses what they call automated tra automatic train control, which has many of the same features. They can tell you tonight that Tri-Rail also received the same letter. That's a story we've been covering for quite some time. They, of course, say they are working to install this as well. Of course, we'll stay on top of the story. But now we're live in downtown West Palm Beach. Michael Butchner, CBS 12 News. And we will continue to track Brightline's progress. Meanwhile, to read how we got to this point, just log on to our website, cbs12.com.